All right, fishy folks, I'm here in Redding, Pennsylvania with my boy Scott What's up? and Chris. How you doing? We're at Exotic Fish and Pets. It's about 40 degrees and uh, I've decided to go sleeveless because it's gonna be hot as balls in there. So let's go in and check out this fish store, all right? Go grab a snack and a beverage, stand by. All right, fishy folks, we're walking in. Scott is saying hello. How you doing? Good, how are I'm you? Mike. Bailey. You Bailey? Yep. Can That's you Bailey. Everyone say hi, Bailey. Can you even see with your glasses so fogged up? Yeah, I mean, you know, you're here, so my glasses are a little fogged up. All right, so pretty cool looking something, something going on. Nice to meet you. I'm the owner. Hey, here's the owner. I'm Mike. Hey, nice to meet you, Mike. Same here. Joel, say hi to YouTube. How's it going, YouTubers? Check out the store. We're good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mike's always ready. <laughs> There's the amateur over there. Yes, guys. Good morning, YouTubers. And yes. uh, hope you like our little shop here. It's 1,400 square feet. We have about 1,200 square feet of retail space. Awesome. Over 83 fish tanks. Uh, we've been here for a year and eight months. Um, we have been open four years at a different location. So uh, check it out. Look awesome. around. And, uh, cool, man. Check it out. Don't forget to check out our piranhas, too. Those guys are pretty What? Cool. Oh, yeah. Piranhas? Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. What are you doing? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> You're All right, they're going to go down that aisle. I'm going to go down this aisle. Bird stuff. Dog stuff. Birds. Mice. Feeder mice. I think it was whistling at me, quite frankly. <laughs> That's a bird. What there do we got go. down there? That is actually, so what we do a lot of times, we'll take in, you know, used aquariums from customers. And what we do is we like to pass on the savings. So sometimes we'll get a used aquarium. No one wants to spend two, three hundred dollars on a brand new aquarium. So, you know, we'll give them something like this for like 50 bucks. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. Scott, did you see this over here, my friend? What's that, buddy? The wood? The Millennium Falcon. Oh. <laughs> But you're gonna get excited about wood again. I mean, I always get excited when we talk about wood. Yeah, we that's... saw these at another shop, but uh, I can see your guppies uh, swimming through here. But uh, my doe is gonna have a hard time getting through that little hole. I don't think he can <laughs> do you think? Never heard that do you either. think Chewie's cock could go through that hole? <laughs> oh, snap. It looks like Chewie's cock. <laughs> So they have a whole freezer of frozen foods. Let's take a look inside, folks. Blood worms, brine shrimp, rods food. LRS. I've never heard of that. Look at that. Frozen mice. I like it. I like the frozen food. We got the salt water here. You guys know I don't know anything about salt water yet. There is a seahorse. There right. is a seahorse. Right. Look at that. How much does said seahorse? He is $79.99. And uh, do you need anything special? Like, you know, some freshwater fish are a little more sensitive than others. What about seahorse? Yeah, they're definitely on the sensitive side. I mean, for being salt water, you definitely have to have the right salinity level and parameters in there to make sure everything's safe for them. And is that clown something special? He looks different than most other clowns I've seen. Yes. He is the Lightning Maroon. Wow. Which is this guy right there. 60 bucks. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty cool looking clown. There's several unique, unique styles of clowns that we have. Like guppies. That's yes, why exactly. I like them. Like here's another one that looks badass. Black Phantom Clownfish. <laughs> so in the in the clownfish world, do they just make up names like they do in the guppy world? <laughs> They do. Okay. They do. All right. Do. At least it's not it's, just me. It's even, it was even crazier with corals, man. There's hundreds of corals that are, you know, people make up a cool name for them, and there you go. It's a seller. That's it. That's oh, yeah. it. I, I, I make up names for guppies all the time, and I, I sell them. Amazing looking stuff. Amazing. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thanks, man. Did you did you saw my stuff after Scott told you about it, or had you heard of me before? Yeah, no. Um, I was told to one of my employees. He said you guys would stop in. I said, me check them out. And the guppies you have on your website, bro, are amazing. Thanks, man. I appreciate oh, yeah. that. Absolutely. All right. So yeah. you want to come along for the tour? You got right. time? Whatever you want to do, brother, I'm here. It's, it's, it's up to you. So, so I don't know anything about salt water. Mm -hmm. 
So this is basically our invert section. Right. Um, it's made of a 160 gallon system. Um, we have it. We have everything individualized systems. That way, in case you ever get diseases, it's not you know spreading to the other aquariums. Sure. But this is where we keep our inverts, our snails, our shrimp, seahorse. I saw the horse. seahorse. Yep. Pretty cool. Um, and we actually dose this system with something called copepods. It's a small shrimp yep. that they basically eat. So nonstop, there's constantly food for all the fish in this system. Cool. Mm -hmm. So each one of these yep. sections is a system. Yep. So that's how I designed it. Um, that way, you know, like I said, it keeps the prevention down. As you can see here, there's no inverts because we have everything in medicated water. We want to make sure that our customers, you know, have good, healthy fish. So we go ahead and uh, quarantine everything that we get in. So Nice, nice. What is, what is that? That's actually, that is actually a midnight clownfish. That is, mm -hmm. I, I might have to get clownfish, some clownfish. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's yeah. so yeah. many different ones. So, so he says it's a midnight clownfish. Here comes Scott. <laughs> is that a clownfish, right? <laughs> I don't have my glasses on, man. <laughs> oh yeah, Pretty so we have, there's so many varieties of different kinds of clownfish out there. I mean, yeah. it's crazy. There's some up there, I mean, all different kinds. Wow. What percentage of your sales from fish is salt water compared to fresh? I would say about 40% salt and, and, and then about, you know, 60% fresh. Sure, sure. Salt. Well, that's pretty cool. Anything else cool I really need to look oh, yeah, at over right here? here? You can kind of see these are uh, mature pear clown fish. Like oh. These guys are breeding size here. Um, actually, one of the best things you can see is the symbolic relationship between a clownfish and an anemone. That's, of course, on there. Right. So that's one of the things that, you know, customers want in their aquariums is the whole clownfish you know Nemo thing going on so. <laughs> and oh, what's yeah. so what size tank is this this is a 40 breeder these are two 40 breeders right over here what, um, would, what would you say the minimum tank size for a clownfish and an anemone, 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 anemone. anemone yeah <laughs> so basically I mean depends on the clownfish and the anemone uh, your common oscillaris I would say minimum of a 20 to 25 gallon with a bubble anemone um, of course biggest things maintenance doing the water changes keeping up with it so 20, 25 gallons, I say it's an ideal size for, you know, clownfish and anemone. Yeah, that, that's my problem. I travel, at least twice a year, I, I travel outside the country for two weeks. Oh, yeah? My, I have 55 fish tanks, and they get about a 10% water change daily while I sleep, automated, but I can't do that with salt water, yeah. so. I mean, there's ways you can. I mean, if you, you know, do your auto top-off system, and then you go ahead and you have a reservoir that mixes the water and puts it in. But, I mean, if you keep it simple with just a few fish, you could get away with doing water changes every few weeks instead of every day. But I'm sure you have lots of fish in your tank. Yeah, so. yeah. Mine's, I overfeed. They're overcrowded because I, I breed for profit. That's oh. what I do. So. Oh, I definitely understand that. Cool. Th these are amazing. I'm, I'm seriously considering saltwater now, folks. Yeah, we have a cool puffer fish behind you, too. A saltwater puffer fish? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A little porky up there. <laughs> cool eel sticking his head out, looking at you. Yeah, that's too advanced for me right now. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, man, look around, let me know. I appreciate it. Thanks for, uh, for talking with us. Absolutely, bro. Mike. What? I got tank mates for your guppies. Check these out. These would be great for your guppies. I'm pretty sure <laughs> you're just being an a-hole right now. <laughs> she just fed them pellets. Extra, they are. extra large piranha. Piranhas, buddy. Do you hey. really have to put a note that says, please don't stick <laughs> fingers in no, your no, tank? No, no, no. Did you just see your podcast where you, for $50, you put your finger in for... Hell yeah, $50. So you want a $50? Do you want to put your finger in here? No, this would have to be $200. <laughs> I think I could do 100 Do you want to do 100 <laughs> No. <laughs> no. Scott's so cheap, he squeaks while he walks. Yeah, uh -huh. I got a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is very cool. And at that price, they're going to Do you have fast. a new piranha? Do I? know? Mike Moe, one of my good friends, has various different types of piranhas at home. Loves them. And I got a feeling once he sees this video, he's going to want these. This is not far from you guys either. No, no. It's an hour drive for me and even less for Mike. He lives in Lancaster, so... All right, that was the piranha. We got some bettas over here, live rock, underneath the bettas. Nice looking bettas. Ooh, that's nice. Look at yeah, that. Cool. Yeah. Hey, gonna feed, Looking uh, some mixing water. water. But does their flower horn have a big cock like my flower horn? <laughs> this guy is actually an albino short-bodied flower. Nice. Where? Right there. Let me go grab some food. Real oh, quick. I, let me let me come on this. I can't see. Albino short body. So it doesn't have red eyes. 
I thought about all the bottles I read out. I don't know. We'll have to check them out. And some Pocustomus. Very nice. Yeah, especially with scary Mike staring at her. <laughs> Did you say she? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it is. There you go, Mike. She what? doesn't have a big cock, though. Well, uh, she doesn't. It's a female. So. <laughs> <laughs> Does she wave? Maybe Chewy. Yeah. And, you know, these two yeah. could get together. Um, we did get it all from Cousin, though. I'm not sure if uh, she laid anything. We asked if it was fertile or not. Not going after the food yet. That's being like shy. Small wild horns. Chris O, you're around checking this out. Lots of small wild horns in here. Really cool. What? Is that an Oscar? That's definitely an Oscar. What kind? Um, it's a regular Oscar. Regular tiger. Do they change colors as they get older? Because I have a tiger Oscar, but. And so. Colombian Oscars? No. Mark Denaro had a mark with the white one. I don't know about that. Stand by, we'll call Mark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what specific mark is your point in time? Yeah, I think this is what their coloring looks like at this at their this size. Age, size and age, you know, get bigger. Uh, oh, well, I'm gonna walk around some more. We got some cichlids here. More cichlids. Nice corals with a really cool clownfish. I might have to get me a clownfish for the kitchen or something. All right. Little baby arrow. Look how cute that arrow is. That is like not even a snack for the arrow that I seen that he had. Yeah, I was in Japan recently and. I was in an arowana only shop, and of course, all the arowana we can't get here. He had he had a red arowana. It was I mean, it was every bit of four feet long. It was pretty damn awesome. Yeah. All right. So we got some machines down here in the battle. Where is the guppies? That's what I want to know. Down this way. Down this way. Hold on. We're gonna. We've been selling through guppies like crazy. Where, that's because guppies are the best fish out there. Oh, right, Scott? <laughs> yeah, they're great for my feeders. That's famous bitch. <laughs> my dope vine loves them. We got some baby angels, a balloon molly. Baby marijuana, since I know you got a big one. How do you know I got a big one? I see one of you. Arowana. Oh. Big arowana, Scott. Oh, the flower horn cow. Hold on, I got to look at the Star Wars tank because I'm a Star Wars nerd. Scott, did you, you see the Star Wars thing? He's watching my videos. Uh, yeah, yeah. I watched some of his too. Yeah, so oh, shut up. On, <laughs> did you like, comment, and subscribe, my friend? I did subscribe. Yes. All right. <laughs> did you see the Star Wars thing? That's awesome. Is that not badass? It's awesome. Not right. a fan of the Neo glow in the dark, but I love the Aquas. Yeah. It's just my preference. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty much the same way. Love the Aquas. I'm, I'm big ready to set up a tank myself. I'm gonna do like the full cool, like grass and bottom. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, exactly. Awesome. We got some live bears over here. Some yeah. mollies. Hey, Mike, I need another memory card. <laughs> I got one in my car. You're gonna send me all the footage, right? Next one. Over. Yeah, yeah, all the footage. Yeah. <laughs> your one tank of guppies, and there's female guppies over here. Ah. Nice. Going through a lot of them. Yeah, guppies are pretty cool. Where do you normally get your guppies from? We get them from multiple different places. Um, the well owner would know for sure, but he would, he would know where he would get them. Cichlid sale here. Mm -hmm. We got some sore tails and some baby angels up here. Koi angels, I mean koi. Yeah. Nice. Rainbows. I really like the bottom line. I love the colors that they have. Their body shape freaks me out. Yeah. What's this? Bamboo shrimp. Bamboo shrimp. We have baby shrimp in there too. Like You're gonna feed them now? Yeah. Okay. We got the colored shrimp in there too. Oh, nice. Nice. What's the substrate? It's a special new substrate from Aquion. It's a plant and shrimp 
Yeah. Cool. There's a cherry and shrimp we, and a moss. We're looking to really try it out for them since we have at least 10 shrimp only people that come in here and like they have tanks only devoted to shrimp. So. Yeah, there's plenty of people like that. All right, so they're going to feed a needle nose gar they want me to come over and look at. Yeah. Let's check that out. So there's some discus up there with the Asian needle nose gar. What are you feeding? Uh, just some rosy red minnows. Oh, they only yeah. like to eat um, live, live food. food? So. Man, I'm getting great light off the collection of your head. Oh. Don't make me come yeah, over there, Scott. <laughs> that was awesome. It was like watching Mike eat off the buffet. I don't know. I think I'm faster. <laughs> All gone. Oh, uh, he's, he's still chomping on that one. Nom, 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 nom. Looks like me eating barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> some ribs. Pretty cool. Ribs. Love me some ribs. All right, guys. We got some some lizards, reptiles, a snake. All right, guys. I think that's about it. Small little store. Great selection. Tanks look great. Tanks look clean. The employees are super helpful. Very friendly. Hope you guys liked it. Check out Exotic Pets in Reading, Pennsylvania.